Here's an interesting question about correlation matrix. If there are n variables with the same pairwise correlation between each other, say rho, can rho be negative? What is the allowed range of this correlation coefficient? Mathematically, it's actually pretty simple. If we write down the correlation matrix, it has diagonal elements 1 and the rest of rho. Because the correlation matrix is positive semi-definite, its eigenvalues need to be non-negative. We can use any standard method to derive the eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Here I'll go right to the results. One of the eigenvectors is in the diagonal direction of the n-dimensional space with all values the same. We are set it to 1. Multiply it by the correlation matrix, we see the eigenvalue is 1 plus a minus 1 times rho. And it needs to be non-negative. So rho needs to be larger than minus 1 over 1 minus 1. So interestingly, it can be negative. Another eigenvector is less obvious. If we set the first element to be minus 1, and another to be 1, and the rest to be 0, multiply it by the correlation matrix, you see we get 1 minus rho times this vector itself. So this is an eigenvector with 1 minus rho as its corresponding eigenvalue. Again, it needs to be non-negative. So rho needs to be equal to or smaller than 1, just like any pairwise correlation coefficient between any two variables. What's interesting is, when rho is 1, it means all the variables are perfectly correlated. However, when it's negative, it means every two variables in the sample are anti-correlated with each other. And that's kind of counterintuitive, but we see it's actually mathematically allowed. Okay, hope you find this interesting, and I uh, hope to see you next time.